there is a predominant conception that there is some uh, leaning towards the right because like this is did you did you feel this is high time this is high time to galvanize votes for 2019 that the youth and truth campaign say okay see if i give a call i don't have to go university to university if i give a call any party will get substantial vote okay but i will tell you this but i will tell you this my daughter comes and asks me which party should i vote i won't tell her i tell her you need to think she is an artist so i tell her you need to think what's good for you and people around you maybe not good for me it doesn't matter what's good for you and people around you for your community of parties whatever you must vote for that party not what i say in the you know in the yoga center and everywhere i go people ask sadguru whom should i vote for i said i will not take the step of destroying democracy because if i give a call and let's say 10 million people vote have you not destroyed democracy you have turned a democracy into a feudalistic process that one leader gives a call so everybody blindly will vote for something this is what you're trying to change people are voting on the basis of religion caste creed and all kinds of rubbish this is what needs to change only when individual people think for themselves and vote every time fresh not committed to even a party only then democracy will stay alive this is the most precious thing we have because what is precious about a democracy is power can shift without bloodletting never in the history of humanity such things have happened even if power has to change in a family somebody will be somebody will bleed yes or no this how it's been but for the first time in the last 100 years or 150 years we are able to change leadership without bloodletting do not underestimate that do not ever underestimate that